Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna be taking a look at an introduction to biochemistry. And biochemistry is kind of the intersection between biology and the chemistry that goes on to help explain a lot of the biological principles. So let's take a look in a little bit more depth here. So if we take a look, here's a little diagram. First of all, you should know that these are the four probably most common elements that will be discussed in all of biology. You've got carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. And we talk about life as we know it being carbon-based. So most of the molecules that are important in biology include things like carbohydrates and proteins. We have nucleic acids, which include DNA and RNA. And then we also have fats and lipids. So here's a list of all of these things. You can recognize them in food. Lipids are like fats. Proteins are found in meat. Proteins are super duper important. Uh, nucleic acids are the things, the DNA and RNA that codes for all the proteins. And of course, we can't live without carbs. Carbs are what we use when we're eating Carbs are what plants are making when they're doing photosynthesis, and it's the source of energy for most living organisms. So molecular biology is about explaining living processes and the chemical substances that are actually involved. And the organic compounds that we're talking about are very stable compounds. They've allowed life to exist for billions of years. So if you know these numbers here, that carbon makes four bonds, nitrogen always makes three bonds, we're talking about each atom. So a carbon atom will make four bonds, nitrogen makes three bonds, oxygen makes two bonds, and hydrogen makes one bond. You can solve pretty much all of the different kinds of uh, simple molecules that you'll be looking at. Here's methane, here's water, here is ammonia. And then if you follow this rule, if carbon makes four bonds, usually you just draw four bonds sticking out. And then you have four spots left because hydrogen only makes one bond. Uh, water, you're going to see this in other places as well too. O has two bonds, and so there's going to be an H sticking out either end. H2O, check it, everything's okay. Same thing with ammonia. Nitrogen makes three bonds, and then you have a hydrogen, hydrogen, and a hydrogen. There are a few weird things that show up. Carbon dioxide, if you don't know how to do this, then pause and try to figure it out. But the answer is, if you put carbon with four bonds here, because carbon makes four bonds, you only have two oxygen atoms. We have four spaces. So if I put an oxygen here and an oxygen here, it turns out what you need to do is you need to get rid of these two bonds and move them over with my fancy eraser. I can go like that. And that is the structure for a stable carbon dioxide molecule. So just a really brief intro so that you can understand what molecular biology is all about. Everything from photosynthesis to cellular respiration to uh, condensation, hydrolysis reactions, metabolism, all of that, it's all related and it's all important in this unit on molecular